Of course, GMBN is the global mountain bike network, but some of you might be like me that are actually quite into cars as well, use them for everyday life and for getting to the trailhead or even traveling to new riding spots. And for me, my dream car is the Audi RS6. And here I am, sat in one, thanks to Audi UK for lending me one. So after a week, I'm gonna see if this is the ultimate mountain biker's car, and if at the very end, it's still my dream car. Personally for me, I'm just into sort of the mechanics of things. I always have been since I was a kid, taking my bike apart to see how it worked. And that's just gone on to fiddling with old motorbikes, cars, vans. And I've always been, you know, interested in the fastest cars, the dream cars. And for me, especially now, you know, I'm nearing 40 years old, I've got a family. There's something about estates that just are really appealing. I think they're cool as well, especially a fast estate. There's something really cool about being able to load it up with all your stuff and just be able to go quick still. Yes, vans are amazing and they probably are the dream car for a mountain biker, just so you can chuck all your kit in, spare tires, whatever. But there's something about vans. They just, it kind of winds me up that if you want a nice van, you have to spend a lot of money and you can get a nice car for the same price. Yes, the Audi RS6 is a bit of a step up again, but we're talking about dream cars here. RS6 is sort of the flagship Audi RS. It's a four litre V8 engine, uh, just shy of 600 horsepower. It is incredible, the noise of the thing, it's super fast. Of course, inside you get all the toys, amazing touchscreen, uh, sort of multimedia a wicked sound system sounds really good and it's really luxurious definitely something you don't get with a van yes the rs6 is fast yes it's cool in my eyes at least but is it practical for a mountain biker well let's see i often load up with bikes for a road trip to a ride-in location a more sensible choice of vehicle for a mountain biker is a van and your average short wheelbase van even with seats in the back is likely to be able to take up to four or five bikes and muddy kit without worrying about damaging an expensive interior estates are as good as a car gets for loading bikes and kit and the rs6 is an audi a6 underneath and they're a big car in the back two people in the front and two bikes and kit will disappear into the boot easy with the back seats folded down but in the UK in winter, I can tell you it will get pretty muddy. I bet you could fit three or maybe even four bikes in the back, but it really starts to become a pain taking bikes apart and dragging them across the interior. You could get a bike rack, I suppose, for riding trips, but yes, it loses out in practicality to a van. But I remind you, four liters, V8, 600 horsepower. But traveling and riding should be about the experience. So how would a van and an RS6 compare for a road trip? And let's take what has to be the most popular van for mountain bikers, in the UK at least, the VW Transporter. They cost about £30,000 new, less than a third of the Audi RS6, so points go to the van of course. Fuel efficiency, the Transporter gets approximately 35 miles per gallon. So I could get 550 miles on a tank of fuel, that's from home in Bath to Fort William on a tank, maybe. The RS6 is in the low 20s in the miles per gallon, even with mild hybrid technology. It cuts my range to about 350 miles on a tank, if I don't push the loud pedal too much. That's Bath to A Forest Dump Freeze. Still Scotland and some great riding, but to Fort William and home, that would cost me. Oh, but really, of course, it is about the motor in this thing, and hopefully you'll be able to hear it. I've got it in the RS2 mode, so in the sporty mode. But, so fast, you do get into those naughty speeds very quickly. The RS6, of course, is not a cheap car. 
this model comes in at just over a hundred thousand pounds 101 740 quid i think crazy money about one hundred thirty thousand dollars. but this is the car that i've always said if i ever won the lottery came into a load of money this is the car i would buy uh so when it was delivered to my house just last week uh yeah i could barely sleep the night before it's pretty crazy uh and it's amazing you know to drive this thing is a dream come true and it's ridiculously fast ridiculously comfortable of course you know you need the funds to be able to afford this thing and then is it slightly reckless putting your muddy downhill bike in the back of it and all your mountain bike kit well you know if you've got the money why not i suppose but uh it's a bit of a dream come true to be driving around for a week at least this is uh way under the radar when you're driving around town yes there's sort of people who know what it is and they do check it out but for your average person it's just an estate car that is kind of yes it does have super flared arches and it's pretty aggressive looking but it's an estate car it doesn't look that crazy so it's dare i say it slightly subtle until you start the engine up and you have those pops and burbles coming from the pipes but you can change the mode stick it in comfort mode it quietens it all down a bit and it's a fairly subdued car talking about value the rs6 is quite a lot of money but if you had the funds for a hundred grand car wouldn't you just go for a sports car instead of an estate well now we're heading more down the route of less practicality two seats very little space inside for kit yes it's still possible to stick your bike on top and have a good time getting to the trails and you will get noticed if that's the effect you're looking for but too much of a sacrifice for most mountain bikers i would think where the ride is supposed to be the event not the drives to the trailhead despite its shortcomings for a mountain biker compared to a van and the price is it still my dream car after living with it for a week but i guess it depends where you live if you go to the us you see a lot of pickup trucks that are used to getting people and bikes to the trailhead which might be off-road i did take the rs6 off-road slightly onto a fire road and to be honest it was pretty scary you just don't want to damage the car or the tires or even scratch the thing so i wouldn't want to be taking it too far off-road even though of course it does have four-wheel drive it's not an off-roader for me I guess it would work as a car, family and bike life. I did fit two adults, two kids, and a bike in the boot, although I did have to take the fork off. It's an incredibly fast car, but it's actually really practical just for driving around normally. You know, stick it in comfort mode, drive around with the kids. It's just a really nice, normal car. And you sort of forget about how fast it is, and it's pretty incredible how much grip the quattro system has and how efficient it is at putting the speed down when you do want to go quickly and it's practical there's loads of space chucking all your stuff in it i'm quite a way off being able to afford one of these and been able to afford to run the thing because i've been averaging sometimes little over 10 miles per gallon in this thing and i dread to think what those front discs cost to replace when the brakes wear right so yes, this is still my dream car, but let me know in the comments down below, what car would you buy for the ultimate mountain bikers lifestyle if you had the money to do it?